Hi friends, hello. Very good morning to one and all. Welcome to our channel, The Voice of Nurse. Today also we are going to discuss model paper for staff nurse 2023 exam purpose. Each and every question very very important to everyone. Not only MHSRB, each and every competitive exam purpose only I am preparing this model papers. This is third model paper. Today we are going to discuss third model paper part 1. In previously we discussed related to the first model paper and second model paper. In related to the staff nurse 2020 exam purpose we discuss related to the only previous years based on previous years FAQs and exam papers only we discussed in two sets of model papers. This is third set of model paper. I will give a link related to the previous two model papers in description. Please check it once anybody new to this channel. Please check it once not only model papers. In previously we already in last four months we already finished almost subject related to the nursing point of view subjects related to the nursing related to the medical surgical nursing sociology community health nursing medical surgical nursing foundation first aid gynecological and midwifery nursing psychiatric nursing these all things already we finished please check it once friends all videos already arranged in playlist also in previously last class we discussed related to the second model paper set of 100 question we discussed in today's class we are going to discuss third set of model paper in subject wise also we discuss related to the only very very important questions and free faqs only we discussed all subjects related to the faqs and very very important questions only with answer and explanation already done in previous classes related to the all subjects check it in playlist related to the model papers first and second set i will give a link in description please check it one before today's topic a small request friends anybody here new to the channel please subscribe my channel click on the bell icon for further notification and share the video to your friends please share your opinion in comment section and please give a like and Please share the video to your friends. I am not asking about subscription and likes and views. Please share the video to your friends because they have to know what are the important topics, important questions related to the FAQs and very very important question related to the previous year's model papers also. They have to know. That's why I am asking. I am requesting all people to share the video to your friends. That's why I am requesting. Let's move on to today's class. Third model paper for staff nurses 2023 part 1. This is set 3. First question. Immediate nursing care for an infant with a myelomeningocele should include. The immediate nursing care for an infant with myelomeningocele should include. We will see here options. First option A. Cover with dress. Option B. Immediately change the diaper. Option C. Applying sterile moist goes dressing to the sac option d all of the above and what is myelomeningocele we know meningitis we know meningocele also but here myelomeningocele means myelomeningocele is the most serious type of spina bifida with this condition a sac of fluid comes through an opening in the baby's back parts of spinal cord and nerves are in this sac or damaged due to the lock of folic acid so due to the folic acid deficiency myelomeningocele will be happen due to this myelomeningocele the nurse have to give a care from the following option means care must be taken to protect the exposed meninges in the spinal lesions until surgical closure can be performed immediately after delivery the lesions must be covered with a sterile dressing the infant must be nursed prone and not dressed to prevent injury to the lesions use an incubator or radiant warmer surgical management and operation to close the defect will be done within the first 48 hours to preserve the neural tissues and prevent infection if managed with sterile techniques 
Beam, as a nurse, immediate nursing care for the infant is applying sterile moist gauze dressing to the sac. If we are doing with sterile techniques, immediate surgical management is not required for the malomeningocele condition. Immediate surgical management is not required if applying sterile moist gauze dressing and using sterile techniques means it is not required surgical management as soon as possible. So here immediate nursing care for the infant with a malomeningocele seal should includes applying sterile moist gauze dressing to the sac keep infant in prone position don't cover do not cover with dress because it is will be contaminated that's why keep it in incubator or radiant warmer so here immediate nursing for infant for the mellow meningocel is option c applying sterile moist gauze dressing to the sac is the correct answer here next we will move on to question number two Best test is used to determine after kidney transplantation. What is the important test is used to determine if your transplanted kidney is working or not. We will see here options. Option A. Renal scan. Option B. 24 hours urine test. Option C. Serum creatinine. Option D. WBC. Main test for kidney disease is a blood test. The test measures the levels of a waste product is called as creatinine in blood. Overview of test used to diagnose kidney diseases including the blood and urine tests for GFR and urine albumin also. Then a kidney ultrasound that produces images which are used to assess the size and shape and location of the kidneys. So here the best test is used to determine after kidney transplantation is option 6 serum creatinine. This is the main test for the kidney disease this is blood test so here in this option option c is the correct answer the normal creatinine value what is the normal creatinine value means 0 0.7 to 1.3 mg for dl for adult male 0 0.5 to 1.1 mg for dl for female so this is the normal value of creatinine. So here the best test is used to determine kidney transplantation after the kidney transplantation. It is working or not we can identify through the serum creatinine value. So here option C only correct answer. Next we will move on to question number 3. What is the meaning of etiquette? What is the meaning of etiquette? We will see here options. Option equality, option B energy, option C habit, option D good manners. What is etiquette? We have to know first. The code of polite behavior in society or among members of a particular profession or group is called as equity. Equity is these rules indicating the proper and polite way to behave like please, thank you, holding doors, chewing with our mouth closed, dressing appropriately. These all things come under good manners. So, here option d good manners is the correct answer the meaning of etiquity is good manners related to the good manners the conventional recruitments as to social behavior properties of conduct as established in any classification or any class or community for any occasion this is called as etiquity so here in this option meaning of etiquity means option d good manners is the correct answer next we will move on to question number four what is the time used for scrubbing of the hands in operation theater what is the duration of the time scrubbing of the hands in the operation theater we will see here options option a two minutes option b two to six minutes option c 5 to 10 minutes option D none of the above surgical hand scrubbing will be performed in 2 minutes using a brush wash each finger hand and arm to 2 inches above the elbows using the non abrasive sponge for a total scrub time of 3 minutes hand washing we are having two methods is surgical hand washing and scrubbing means medical hand washing either anatomic timed method or alcohol based hand rub hand rub should be take around 20 seconds when performing surgical hand antisepsis using an antimicrobial soap scrub hands and forearms for the length of time recommended by the 
usually 2 to 6 minutes so here option b is the correct answer actually the duration is 2 to 3 minutes only but here there is no option also and possible duration of the surgical hand wash in ot is 2 to 6 minutes here option b is the correct answer next we will move on to question number 5 Disney are relieved by which position from the following from the following which position through the which position we can relieve the dyspnea we will see first options option a prone position option b forward position option c lateral position option d dorsal position what is dyspnea dyspnea is as for b shortness of breath difficult or painful breathing and also shortness of breath called as shortness of breath for people with orthopnea breathing difficulties typically disappears quickly after they get up sitting upright in a chair with supporting arms for many patients it is easier to breathe in this position than in bed in another studies it was seen that the seated leaning forward position was preferred by copd chronic obstructive pulmonary disease patients is due to dyspnea through the flowers position only here orthopnea is the sensation of breathlessness in the recumbent position relieved by sitting or standing pnd paroxysmal natural dyspnea is a sensation of shortness of breath that awakens the patient often after one or two hours of sleep is usually relieved in upright position upright position or forward position also we can through the forward position also we can relieve the dyspnea so here option b is the correct answer next we will move on to question number 6 contra indications of oral temperature monitoring what are the contra indications are for monitoring oral temperature we will see here options option a infants option b child under 5 years option c psychiatric illness option d all of the above patient has recently had facial or oral surgery patient is a child under 5 years and infants or unconscious patients psychiatric patient these all patients comes under the contra indication to monitor a oral temperature and also we will see additionally contra indication for auxiliary temperature monitoring also the contra indications of auxiliary temperature monitoring skin diseases axillary operation shocked patients constricted peripheral blood vessels patients also so here factors affecting oral temperature what are the contra indications to monitor temperature means here all of the above is the correct answer factors affecting oral temperature means oral temperature is most influenced by outside factors like drinking chewing smoking and breathing through the mouth intake of cold drinks and food will be lower oral temperatures while hot counterparts do the opposite so body temperature is constant all day long so here the contra indications of oral temperature monitoring is all of the above is the correct answer contra indications to monitor a oral temperature means recently patient has facial or oral surgery patient is on under 5 years of age and infants unconscious patients psychiatric patients also so here all of the above is the correct answer next we will move on to question number 7 gavage means what is mean by gavage we will see here options option a washing option b visualization option c feeding option d wiping what is means gavage gavage is a administration of food and drugs by force through a tube leading down the throat to the stomach this is called as gavage gavage means feeding nothing but feeding here gavage and lavage we are having gavage and lavage gavage means administering of food and drugs by force of through the tube nasogastric tube or any tube through the throat to the stomach lavage means washing clear friends gavage means feeding lavage means washing washing for example lavage for example gastric irrigation also here we will see regarding gavage 
गैवेज इज फोर्स फीडिंग बाय मीन्स ऑफ ए ट्यूब इंसर्टेड इन टू द स्टमक थ्रो द माउथ गैवेज इज द प्रैक्टिस ऑफ फीडिंग डग्स एंड गीज एंड एक्सेसिव अमाउंट ऑफ कैलरीज फीडिंग मेडिकेशन डायरेक्टली इन टू देयर स्टमक ए ट्यूब इज प्लेस थ्रो द नोस आर माउथ इन टू द स्टमक ए ट्यूब इन द नोस इज ए कॉल्ड एज नैसो गैस्टिक ट्यूब सो हियर गैवेज मीन्स फीडिंग हियर इन दिस ऑप्शन ऑप्शन सी इज द करेक्ट आंसर फॉर एग्जाम्पल फॉर द गैवेज पेशेंट इज ऑन ऑनकॉन्शियस स्टेप सेकेंड एग्जाम्पल फॉर द गैवेज क्लाइंट इज ऑन वेंटिलेटर सपोर्ट पेशेंट इज ऑन सपोर्ट ऑफ वेंटिलेशन गैवेज वी कैन प्रोवाइड थ्रू दी गैवेज वी कैन गिव ए फीड मोर कैलरिक फूड एंड ऑल्सो मेडिकेशन नेक्स्ट वी विल मूव ऑन टू क्वेश्चन नंबर एट शॉक इज बेस्ट डिफाइंड एज शॉक शॉक इज बेस्ट डिफाइंड एज यू विल सी हियर ऑप्शन ऑप्शन ए कार्डियो वैस्कुलर कोलैप्स ऑप्शन बी हाइपो परफ्यूजन ऑप्शन सी ब्लड प्रेजर लेस दैन नाइंटी एम एम ऑफ एच जी ऑप्शन डी ए एंड बी वॉट इज मेन बाई शॉक शॉक मीन्स पुअर परफ्यूशन द बॉडी इज नॉट एबल टू गेट एन ऑफ ऑक्सीजन कैरिंग ब्लड टू वाइटल ऑर्गन्स कॉल्ड एज शॉक here we are having hypovolemic shock cardiogenic shock and these are the so many types of obstructive shock so many types of shocks is there the descriptive shock is the most common type of shock followed by hypovolemic and cardiogenic and obstructive shock It is relatively less common descriptive shock distributive shock is septic shock and has a mortality rate between 40 to 50 percent shock is defined as inadequate tissue perfusion it is also referred as hypo perfusion so here option b is the correct answer shock is the best defined as hypo perfusion means inadequate inadequate oxygen supply or inadequate tissue perfusion due to the lack of oxygen levels signs and symptoms for the shock low bp altered mental status confusion sleeplessness moist skin shock is a life threatening condition so here shock is best defined as inadequate tissue perfusion or hypo perfusion so here option b is the correct answer next we will move on to question number 9 Artificial kidney operates on the principle of the artificial kidney operates on which principle from the options we will see here first options option a dialysis option b diffusion option c transport option d osmosis a artificial kidney operates on the principle of dialysis the dialysis of substances through a semi permeable membrane in case of kidney failure an artificial kidney can be used an artificial kidney is a device to remove nitrogenous waste products from the blood through the dialysis hemodialysis is a method for removing waste products such as creatinine urea as well as free water from the blood when the kidneys are in kidney failure so artificial kidney operates on the principle of dialysis the hemodialysis is method to remove waste products such as creatinine urea as well as free water from the blood when the kidneys are in kidney failure means artificial kidney will work so here artificial kidney operates on the option a dialysis option a dialysis is the correct answer the principle of artificial kidney operates on dialysis next we will move on to question number 10 hearing loss can be complication of hearing loss can be complication of which condition can complicate the hearing loss we will see here options option a vitamin a deficiency option b vitamin c deficiency option c ocular change option d otitis media three tiny bones in the mid ear carry sounds vibrations from the ear drum to the inner ear when fluid is present the vibration are not transmitted efficiently and sound energy is lost the result may be mild or even moderate hearing loss can be happen the causes of hearing loss bacterial or viral infection it may cause permanent hearing loss 
if not treated if not treated that bacterial viral infection that may be cause for the permanent hearing loss also the serious complications of otitis media due to the otitis media the complication of otitis media hearing loss will happen the serious complication of acute otitis media includes meningitis brain abscess epidural abscess mastoiditis and temporary or permanent hearing loss and also sometimes it may cause for the death also so here the hearing loss can complication of otitis media hearing loss can be complication of otitis media so here option d is the correct answer next we will move on to question number 11 which of the following drug is used for heparin overdose what is the drug is used for the overdose of the heparin in exam we will get like question what is the antidote for the heparin like also we will get a question so answer is similar same answer antidote for the heparin and drug used for the heparin overdose answer is same we will discuss later we will see here options first option a protamin sulfate option b magnesium sulfate option c calcium sulfate option d albumin sulfate overdose symptoms may include easy bruising nose bleeds blood in urine or blood in stools black or tarry stools here the antidote for the heparin or drug is used for the heparin overdose is protamine sulfate option a is the correct answer protamine sulfate is a medication used to reverse and neutralize the anticoagulant effects of heparin heparin is used effective for the prevention and treatment of venous thrombosis and heart diseases and some condition neurological condition also we can use the heparin so here which of the following drug is used to treat a heparin overdose or antidote for the heparin means here option a protamine sulfate option a is the correct answer here next we will move on to question number 12 lateral deformity of spine is called as what is lateral deformity of spine we will see here options option a lordosis option b kyphosis option c scoliosis option d none of the above we will see one by one option a lordosis what is mean by lordosis a curving inward of the lower back common symptom muscle pain causes for the lordosis is arthritis dwarfism dystrophy so here the lordosis is inverted of lower back and lordosis is also called as sway back s w a y back sway back also called as sway back lordosis means so lateral deformity is not lordosis next option b kyphosis what is meant by kyphosis kyphosis is an abnormal forward rounding more than 50% of curvature of the spine kyphosis is involves upper back curving forward this is called as kyphosis next we will see option c scoliosis scoliosis is a spinal deformity consisting of lateral curvature and rotation of the vertebra so here lateral deformity of spine is called as scoliosis scoliosis is the spinal deformity consisting of lateral curvature and rotation of the vertebra the causes of scoliosis classified broadly as congenital neuromuscular syndrome related to the idiopathic and spinal curvature the secondary reasons for the scoliosis can occur in people with conditions such as cerebral palsy and muscular dystrophy scoliosis mainly two types levoscoliosis and dextroscoliosis levoscoliosis means spine curve to the left side dextroscoliosis means spine curve to the right side so here the lateral deformity of spine is called as scoliosis option c is the correct answer here next we will move on to question number 13 what is vum what is meant by vum we will see here options option a test for vaccine potency option b test for vaccine contamination option c measurement of dosage option d all of the above as for serological method the efficiency of vaccine is assessed by detecting the antibody 
टाइटर लेवल आफ्टर इम्यूनाइजेशन इट इन्वॉल्व वायरसेस न्यूट्रलाइजेशन एक्सपेरिमेंट्स एंड ऑल काइंड्स ऑफ एलिस द यूज ऑफ पोटेंसी यूज ऑफ पोटेंसी कंट्रोल टेस्टिंग इज ए वैल्यूबल टूल फॉर टेस्टिंग द एक्चुअल रिलेटिव स्ट्रेंथ ऑफ manufactured assembly lots of vaccine direct elisa as a secondary test for assessing the potency of vaccines containing tetanus toxicity so here vum means test for vaccine potency here in this options option a is the correct answer the direct elisa as secondary test for assessing the potency of vaccine containing tetanus toxicity so here vum means test for वैक्सीन पोटेन्सी ऑप्शन ए इज द करेक्ट आंसर नेक्स्ट वी विल मूव ऑन टू क्वेश्चन नंबर फोर्टीन हेमाटोपोसिस हेमाटोपोसिस फर्स्ट स्टार्ट सीन द हेमाटोपोसिस इज फर्स्ट स्टार्ट सीन वी विल सी हियर ऑप्शन ऑप्शन ए लिवर ऑप्शन बी बोन मैरो ऑप्शन सी स्प्लीन ऑप्शन डी योग्स हेमाप्टोसिस इज ए ब्लड सेल प्रोडक्शन हेमाप्टोसिस इज ए blood cell production our body continuously makes new blood cells to replace old ones hematopoiesis ensures you have a healthy supply of blood cells to supply oxygen to the tissues means red blood cells fight infection means white blood cells blood cells supply oxygen to the tissues fight infection and clot your blood when ever injured so the hemoptysis is work like red blood cells white blood cells and platelets so here hemoptysis is first starts where the hemoptysis starts means in humans hemoptysis begins in yolk sac and transitions into the liver temporarily before finally establishing definitive hemoptysis in the bone marrow and thymus hemoptysis during the early stages of embryogenesis occurs in the yolk sac and subsequently in the liver hemoptysis starts before birth and continues as a cycle throughout the life hemoptysis begins during first weeks of the embryonic development only the hemoptysis will starts means yolk sac here in this options option d yolk sac is the correct answer next we will move on to question number 15 function of mitochondria is production of the function of mitochondria is production of what we will see here options option a protein option b fats option c energy option d b and c mitochondria performs the function of energy generation it helps in production of molecules called adenosine triphosphate means atp which helps in generating energy this energy is utilized by other parts of the cell for performing their functions so mitochondria is power house of the cell we know mitochondria performs the function of energy generation the classical role of mitochondria is oxidative phosphorylation which generates atp atp means adenosine triphosphate utilizing the energy released during the oxidation of the food we eat atp is used in turn as the primary energy source for most biochemical and physiological processes such as growth movement and hemostasis here the function of mitochondria is production of energy here in this following options option c energy is the correct answer next we will move on to question number 16 National Family Health Survey is done every means the National Family Health Survey is done in a, how many years once we will see here options option a 6 years option b 1 year option c 10 years option d 3 years we will see first options option a 6 years option b 1 year option c 10 years option d 3 years National Family Health Survey is also called as nfhs national family health survey ministry of health and family welfare conducts one integrated survey namely nfhs 
means national family health survey at an interval of about 3 years and so far completed 5 rounds of survey national family health survey is an india wide survey conducted by the ministry of health and family welfare of government of india ministry of health and family welfare government of india is conducted national family health survey is done in every 3 years once so here the national family health survey is done in every 3 years option d is the correct answer here next we will move on to question number 17 grimacing is a feature of grimacing is a feature of clinical feature of which condition we will see here options option a catatonic schizophrenia option b delirium option c juvenile schizophrenia option d paranoid schizophrenia related to the medical terms of all subjects especially psychiatric we already discussed in subject wise topics faqs just check it once friends i will give a explanation briefly related to the question and answers in the model papers so just check it in all subjects related to the faqs here grimacing is holding the same facial expression usually with stiff or tense facial muscles so here grimacing is a symptom of catatonic schizophrenia catatonic schizophrenia catatonic schizophrenia is an absolute term for a sub type of schizophrenia while experts don't use this diagnosis any longer catatonia is a still a feature that happens commonly with schizophrenia it also a symptom that stands out because affects a person's movements behavior and ability to communicate catatonic schizophrenia is a rare severe mental disorder characterized by striking motor activity or behavior hyperactivity agitation grimacing and inability or immobility these all are the clinical features of the catatonic schizophrenia so here the grimacing is a feature of clinical feature of catatonic schizophrenia here in this options option a is the correct answer next we will move on to question number 18 hsg is performed we will see here options option a during menstruation option b 14th day of cycle option c between menstrual periods option d before menstruation what is hsg hsg means hysterosalpingography 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 is an x-ray procedure that is used to view the inside of the uterus and fallopian tubes to identify the blockage in the fallopian tubes the test will take about 15 to 20 minutes of duration it is best to have hysterosalpingography in the first half of the menstruation cycle so first half of the menstrual cycle the day 1 to 14 days between the 1 to 14 days the the day 1 to 14th before ovulation during the hsg a contrast agent placed in the uterus and fallopian tubes studies have shown that there is a up to 30% increase in pregnancy rates for the first 3 months after an hsg for couples with unexplained infertility it is pres- tumor that the dye itself flushes out describes and if that was all that was preventing pregnancy so here the hsg is performed between the menstrual menstruation and ovulation so here in this options option c is the correct answer next we will move on to question number 19 bar body is seen in bar body is seen in we will see here options option a clean filter syndrome option b turner syndrome option c 46 xy option d none of the above the bar body is the inactive x chromosomes in the somatic cells of mammalian females here bar body what is mean by bar body bar body is the 
inactive X chromosome in the somatic cells of the mammalian females. Females have two X chromosomes since the somatic cells of females are not involved in the sexual reproduction. Here, one of the two X chromosomes is inactivated by lionization. This inactive X chromosome is known as bore body, means extra chromosome. The extra chromosome is in Klinefelter syndrome, is a genetic condition that results when a boy is born with extra copy of the X chromosome. For example, in normal XX is female, XY is male. In case of skin filter syndrome, in males XXY is present and in female XXX is present. So here board body is seen in clean filter syndrome. So here option A is the correct answer. We will move on to question number 20. Which drug is responsible for red men syndrome? Which drug is responsible for the red men syndrome? We will see here options. Option A. Linozolid. Option B. Vancomycin. Option C. Chloramphenicol. Option D. None of the above. RMS. Red men syndrome. Is a common allergic reaction to vancomycin that typically presents with rash on the face, neck, upper arms and upper torso after IV administration of vancomycin. Less frequently, RMS means red men syndrome may be accompanied by hypotension and angioedema. Vancomycin can cause two types of hypersensitivity reactions the red man syndrome and anaphylaxis. Red man syndrome has often been associated with rapid infusion of the first dose of the drug and was initially attributed to the impurities found in vancomycin preparations. Vancomycin flushing syndrome was previously known as red man syndrome. Vancomycin flushing syndrome is also Previously known as red man syndrome. Which drug is responsible for the red man syndrome means here option D. Vancomycin is the correct answer. Next we will move on to question number 21. Phimosis means what is meant by phimosis? We will see here options. Option A. Tightness of the foreskin of the penis. Option B. Tightness of abdominal muscles. Option C. E and B. Option D. Inflammation of the prostate. Here, phimosis is a condition of the penis that occurs in some adults and children who aren't circumcised. Phimosis means foreskin of the penis cannot be pulled back, which means penis has rings around the tip. Phimosis is normal in babies and toddlers. Phimosis means tightness of the foreskin of penis. So here phimosis is meant by option A tightness of the foreskin of the penis. Option A is the correct answer here. Next we will move on to question number 22. A client with fat mole absorption is at risk for which of the following? Here the client is having fat mole absorption. Risk for the condition. We will see here options. Option A constipation. Option B Type 2 diabetes mellitus. Option C. Oxalate kidney stones. Option D. Type 2 diabetes mellitus. When large amount of unabsorbed fat are available, the cancial preferentially binds to fat instead of oxalate. Enteric hyperoxaluria due to the malabsorption syndromes has been well documented to the cause. Renal calculi and chronic tubulo interstitial renal damage will happen untreated bile salt mole absorption can increase the risk of forming gallstones and kidney stones so here a client with fat mole absorption at risk for the condition was oxalate kidney stones so here in this options option c is the correct answer oxalate kidney stones next we will move on to question number 23 what is the alternative term for normal labor? What is the alternative term for the normal labor? Otherwise, normal labor is called as. We will see here options. Option A, dystocia. Option B, utosia. Option C, entosis. Option D, none of the above. We will see one by one. Dystocia. 
डिस्टोशिया इज ए डिफिकल्ट और ऑब्स्ट्रक्टेड लेबर इट इज ए ऑब्स्ट्रेटिक इमरजेंसी इन दिस केस स्लो डायलेटेशन ऑफ सर्विक्स एंड अबनॉर्मल पोजिशन ऑफ फिटस इज प्रजेंट सो हियर नॉर्मल लेबर इज नॉट डिस्टोशिया वी विल सी ऑप्शन बी यूटोशिया यूटोशिया इज ए नॉर्मल लेबर इट फुलफिल्स द क्राइटीरिया लाइक स्पोन्टेनियस इन ऑनसेट एंड द एटॉम एंड विथ वर्टेक्स प्रजेंटेशन इज कॉल्ड एज नॉर्मल लेबर यूटेशिया इज ऑल्सो कॉल्ड एज ए नॉर्मल बर्थ प्रोसेस यूटोशिया इज ऑल्सो कॉल्ड एज नॉर्मल लेबर एंड ए नॉर्मल बर्थ प्रोसेस ऑल्सो कॉल्ड एज यूटोशिया नेक्स्ट ऑप्शन सी एंटोसिस वॉट इज मीन बाय एंटोसिस एंटोसिस इज रेफर्स टू द इवेशन ऑफ द living cells into another of the same type with involvement of addition molecules this is a new type of cell death defined by over voltage in year of 2007 here what is the alternative term for normal labor means option b utopia is the correct answer here next we will move on to question number 24 Which of the following terms describes a fungal infection in the scalp? What is the terms are described a fungal infection in the scalp? We will see here options. Option A, tinea carporis. Option B, tinea capitis. Option C, tinea cuiris. Option D, tinea pedia. We will see one by one. What is mean by tinea carposis? Option A, we will see. tinea carporis is a superficial fungal skin infection of the body see here friends these options option a b c d all of the conditions all are the conditions are fungal infection only please listen clearly option a tinea carporis tinea carporis is a superficial fungal skin infection of the body caused by dermatophytes the tinea carposis can be found in varal wild also so here the super option a tinea carposis is a superficial fungal skin infection so option a is not fungal infection related to the scalp next option b we will see tinea capitis tinea capitis is a disease caused by superficial fungal infection of the skin of the scalp eyebrows and eyelashes mainly affects in the children's so here the which of the following term is described fungal infection in the scalp means option b tinea capitis is the correct answer next further options also we will see additionally option c tinea cruris tinea cruris is also called as jock itch is a fungal infection in the skin of the genitalis inner thighs and buttocks most common cause for the tinea cruris is tight wearing clothes so fungal infection to the skin of the genitalis and inner thighs buttocks is option c tinea cruris option d tinea pedia tinea pedia is also called as athletic foot athletic foot it is a fungal infection to the toes so here option b tinea capitis option b tinea capitis c is a fungal infection in the scalp so here option b is the correct answer next we will move on to question number 25 which of the following rich source of potassium which of the following is rich source of the potassium we will see here options option a apple option b orange option c banana option d guava bananas are known be a good source of potassium in fact banana has 451 mg means 451 micrograms of potassium tasty fruit also rich in vitamin c vitamin b6 magnesium and fiber and antioxidants potassium is in rich in vitamin c vitamin b6 magnesium fiber and antioxidants the potassium is found in many foods you can get recommended amounts of potassium by eating a variety of foods including following fruits such as dried apricots prunes rinsin oranges orange juices and bananas vegetables such as acorn squash potatoes spinach tomatoes and broccoli 
here we are having 10 highest potassium foods like spinach is 1 cup means 840 mg avocado 1 cup means 708 mg beans white beans half cup means 600 mg beets 1 cup 520 mg sweet potato medium 700 mg bok choy and 1 cup is cooked by 630 mg Swiss chard 1 cup is 960 mg so here in this options option C banana is the rich source of potassium is the correct answer next we will move on to question number 26 what is the purpose of peritoneal dialysis what is the purpose of PD peritoneal dialysis we will see here options option A remove toxins option B remove waste option C clean the peritoneum option D all of the above peritoneal dialysis is a treatment for kidney failure that uses the lining of the abdomen or belly to filter blood inside of the body peritoneal dialysis removes waste and extra fluid through the blood vessels that line the walls of the abdomen the peritoneal dialysis is one type of dialysis treat for kidney failure extra fluid and waste products are drawn out of the blood and into the dialysis state most important keep catheter working well and to lower the chance of infection so here the purpose of peritoneal dialysis is all of the above is the correct answer during the through the peritoneal dialysis we can remove the toxins remove the waste material and cleaning the peritoneum so all of the above is the correct answer next we will move on to question number 27 lactate ringers is a or ringer lactate is a we will see here options option a isotonic solution option b hypertonic solution option c hypotonic solution option d all of the above ringer lactate or lactate ringers oral solution or lactate ringer solution is a type of isotonic crystallate fluid further classified as a balancer solution used for replacement of the fluids for example isotonic solutions like normal saline 0.9 percent of sodium chloride ringer lactate solution 5 percent dextrose in water means d5w and ringer solution isotonics like the fluids have the same osmotic pressure as a blood osmotic isotonic means the osmotic pressure is same as in osmotic pressure as in blood so here option a is the correct answer ringer lactate is a isotonic solution next we will move on to question number 28 under normal condition the tidal volume is what is the tidal volume we will see here options option a 200 ml option b 300 ml option c 500 ml option d 250 ml tidal volume is the amount of air you move through the lungs each time of inhaling and exhaling why at rest the tidal volume typically measured around 500 milliliters for males and 400 ml for the females as lung volume increases pressure decreases as per Boyle's theory or Boyle's law the resulting sub atmospheric intra alveolar pressure then draws air into the alveoli based on the pressure differences once the pressure equalized the tidal volume of approximately 500 ml is delivered so here in this options option c is the correct answer under normal condition the tidal volume will be 500 ml option c is the correct answer next we will move on to question number 29 florence nightingale was born in florence nightingale was born in which place we will see here options option a india option b italy option c france option d england florence nightingale was born on 12th may 1828 italy all through her parents are from the England means Britishians. She was born in Italy while they were traveling. Florence Nightingale is the real name of the pioneering nurse who served during the Crimean War. She was named Florence because she was born in Florence, Italy. While her parents were 
vocationing there her family had taken the last name nightingale after her father william inherited his great uncle's estate in 1815 florence is most widely known for her role during the crimean war between the great britain and russia she was sent to the barak hospital at skutari turkey where she cared the thousands of sick and wounded british troops florence nightingale was born in 12th may 1820 at italy here option b is the correct answer next we will move on to question number 30 30th question is the last question in this part 1 third set of model paper this is last question in this part one video today's class next upcoming classes we will continue from the 31 we will see here 30th question drug of choice for the treatment of malaria in during the pregnancy here what is the drug of choice for malaria in pregnancy or anti-malarial drugs during the pregnancy best drug of choice we will see here options quinine option b chloroquine option c primaquine option d tetracycline malaria infection in pregnant women is associated with high risk of both maternal and perinatal morbidity and mortality in malaria endemic areas inpatient therapy is not recommended for all pregnant women regardless of the number of pregnancies malaria is treated with prescription drugs to kill the parasite the types of drugs and the length of treatment will vary we can give for the anti malarials that can be used in pregnancy includes chloroquine anti malarials should not used in pregnancy includes halofantrin tetracycline or doxycycline primiquine so here anti malarial drugs we can use during the pregnancy the best drug is option b chloroquine is the correct answer here clindamycin and quinine is the recommended treatment for the women in first trimester of pregnancy it may places clindamycin is unavailable and quinine monotherapy is prescribed so here the drug of choice for anti malarial during the pregnancy is option b chloroquine is the correct answer tetracycline dox or doxycycline or primiquine and halofantrin these all are the anti malarial drugs should not use for the pregnancy ladies halofantrin tetracycline doxycycline primiquine these all are the contraindications so here drug of choice for the treatment of malaria in pregnancy is chloroquine and quinine also but best drug is option b chloroquine is the best drug so option b is the correct answer here this is last question in this today's class part 1 third set of model paper so thank you so much for watching my video please give a like and share your opinion in comment section anybody here new to the channel please subscribe my channel click on the bell icon for further notification and please share the video to your friends please give a like and stay tuned keep watching